and enjoy the 4th of July in X-Line. The weather's been gorgeous and everything has gone well. I'm going to start out by thanking our sponsors. These people have donated money and their names are on the back of the shirts we are wearing today. The X-Line Royal Neighbors Committee, the X-Line Recreation Committee, X-Line Betterment Committee, City of X-Line, X-Line Builders, X-Line Ramblers 4-H, Wayne and Rosalie X-Line. That's a lot of X-Lines. Leach Farms, Mike and Jean Leach, Drake Semital, Larry and Carol Drake, Lang Funeral Home, Thomas Funeral Home, Fine Line Bluegrass, Brad and Sean Hook Family, Dr. Craig Stater Family Dentistry, Tubal Family Chiropractic, Iowa Missouri Gas Engine Club, Donald and Dorothy Haynes, Bob and Dixie Hill, John and Joy Golden. Other people that have helped support this, we don't have names to recognize, but a lot of you have donated baked goods for baked sales. You've dropped money in donation jars. You baked a cake or a pie today for the cake or a pie walk. You've helped with the many different events, the cutie contest, the pie contest, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things that a lot of you have done, even helping prepare for this day. A lot of work goes into it, and I really greatly appreciate every one of you. A big thank you to my girls at the store. They have worked nonstop today. Most of them have not had a break. They would love to be over here tonight listening to the show, but they're busy. And we love the business, but you know, it would be nice if they could enjoy it too. I think they all deserve a round of applause because they are wore out tonight. Also, thank you to um, all the Morgan Klein Associates that have helped us today from the other businesses. AJ Anderson, John Dorman, and his wife Judy has helped all day. Denise Berg, and many, many, many volunteers that I can't at this moment think of their names. And I do not have a list here, but thank you to all of you. Bruce Butel is going to put on a show for us here in a few minutes, and it is the Elvis show. He does a fantastic job. For those of you that don't know, he did win the championship at the State Fair last year. He puts on quite a show. He also made it to the semifinals at Prairie Meadows the, la the last couple of weeks. He didn't make it into the finals, but he must have done really good because I heard there was some awesome talent up there. Every year we name a Citizen of the Year. This year we have, we have a tie. It was too hard to narrow it down to one. I'm going to go through the list of the past winners the last few years. Paul Temple, Mike Leach, Wayne Exline, Mary Ann Hurley, Robert Traxler, Donald Haynes, and Jean Leach. These are all very deserving people. They are some of the finest citizens and the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. And without them, this town would not be what it is today. Can I have a round of applause for all the past winners? I like to build a little suspense when leading up to the announcement of the recipients for this award, but it will be hard to do with this particular winner. That is because her name is synonymous with the organization that she is such a big part of. She has been a leader of the X-Line Ramblers 4-H Club for many years. Under her leadership, the organization has grown to about 40 members. This leader volunteers to help the kids with their county fair projects, community projects such as Adopt a Highway, Adopt a Family for Christmas, Memory and Honor Benches at the Appanoose County Fair, and helped build a covered shelter at the county fair. She attends all of the judging events for her 4-H'ers and takes pictures of each of them while encouraging them. She was instrumental in helping the Ramblers make a scrapbook in memory of Sergeant Travis Riddick for the Riddick family. She brings her sewing machine into the city hall to help new members make a sewing project. Not only is she a leader of this great 4-H club, she also helps with the Clover Kids, the Boy Scouts, and the FFA. She is currently a teacher at Seymour High School. She chaperones many FFA trips and cheerleading outings. She has helped with Royal Neighbors. She has volunteered to judge local queen contests. She was also an employee of the Exline Country Store. She is a mentor to both boys and girls. Her love of children shows in everything she does. It is with great pleasure that on behalf of the Exline Fourth of July Committee, I present this award to Sean Tate. Sean, could you come up?
The X-Line 4-H Ramblers have helped us all day today too. They've done a fantastic job. And without Sean's leadership, those kids probably wouldn't be such great kids. Thank you, Sean, for everything. Does anyone want to come up and get pictures? I know we've got AJ out here with the camera. We'll get some better ones than what I could take. Would any of you 4-H members like to get up here with her and have a picture taken? Is there anyone else here? Jody? Any other kids here? Her family? Is your husband here and kids? Ray? Wyatt? Your mom and dad? I know they're filming. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, it's really dry. <laughs> Anybody else coming? Can you guys like walk forward a little bit? Or are you just raising the floor? One more. <laughs> Lexi, you always sneeze when I take your picture. Applause for Shantae. When trying to narrow down the, uh, the process for who was going to be the recipient of this award this year, several names were thrown around and this name kept coming up. I don't know this gentleman quite as well as I know Sean, but his name was brought up several times. I had to think back to how I first met him. I, I never knew him when, when we first opened the store, well, right before the store opened. In the weeks leading up to opening the store, I kept a book with notes written in every day of what I had done in order to get ready to open the store. And I think my reasoning was that in case Bill Birch thought I wasn't doing anything, I could go back later and show him the book. <laughs> I had proof in black and white that I really was working on something. According to my notes, on September 15, 2003, I met this next Citizen of the Year recipient in his garage to look at an old store counter that he wanted to donate to us. I'm looking at him to see if he remembers right now. The condition of this donation was that we had to keep it and could never sell it. I have had many opportunities through the years, but we, we still have that counter. Over the years, I have learned what an all-around great citizen this gentleman is. A lot of his good de deeds I have witnessed on my own. He serves on the X-Line City Council and has had that position for many terms. He's an electrician that has graciously donated his knowledge of that trade to get many costly jobs done for the city without expecting anything in return. When this shelter that I am standing in was built, he was the one that wired it and has often shown up on the fourth to make sure that everything's running and that we don't need anything. He can often be seen around town doing some sort of job with a skid loader or the tractor. Volunteer jobs are often thankless jobs. Tonight, I am happy to give him the recognition that he deserves as I present this plaque to Jim Burns. Usually he's having a party in his yard tonight. I'm not sure how Sharon got him up here. And I think she canceled the party. I think both of his kids are out of town too, which is a little disappointing. I think they would like to have been here. Congratulations, Jim. It's been great knowing you. Sharon, you want to come up and get a picture taken with him? Could we have another round of applause for Jim?